Scientists are now working to determine why a pod of 50 pilot whales came too close to shore on St. Simon's Island. This viral video captured the frantic rescue effort, but sadly, three of the whales died. Today, News 4 Jax obtained this new video showing the whales in just a few feet of water yesterday evening thrashing around. And since then, the Georgia Department of Natural Resources has removed the dead whales. News 4 Jax reporter Brittany Muller is joining us live. Brittany. Mary, a necropsy will take place tomorrow to figure out exactly why all of these whales beach themselves here. A wildlife biologist says something could have happened days or even weeks ago that led them to leave their natural habitat and end up right here beaching themselves on St. Simon's Island. A rare sight on St. Simon's Island yesterday. A News for Jack's viewer sending this video into our newsroom within the past few hours, showing crowds gathering as pilot whales began beaching themselves. This is viral video as a pod of 50 pilot whales came close to the shore yesterday, causing beachgoers on the island to stop and watch. It is so sad. Oh my God, they're going to die if they don't get help. Oh Lord, we need angels out here today. Three of the animals that were stranded died. If one animal in the group gets injured or sick, uh, all the other animals in the group can follow them great distances um, into shore. Uh, and then they can strand. The three pilot whales were found over a three mile stretch of shoreline at the Coast Guard Beach near the lighthouse and at the south end of the St. Simon Sound. A family visiting from Nashville saw the pod and helped push them back out to sea. And then we heard the scream that there were two up on the shore and there were 30 in that pod. My um, friend counted them and they all we all went running up there. This photo of one of the pilot whales that did not survive and that was scavenged by sharks. Wildlife biologists say this is exceedingly rare for something like this to happen in Georgia. These animals should be um, 100 miles or more off our coast out um, off the edge of the continental shelf. During the necropsy tomorrow, biologists will see if the pilot whales ingested any plastic or fishing gear and check to see if it was exposed to any acoustic noises, including sonars or bombs. We'll keep you updated. Reporting live from St. Simons Island tonight, Brittany Muller, Channel 4, the local station. And our coverage continues on newsforjacks.com, where we've put together a slideshow of photos and videos of the stranded whales. Just look inside the story on the homepage.